Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Get day to day videos to know about the logic and solution for skill rack daily challenge. Daily challenge will not be much challenging if you are going to subscribe our channel right now. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the entry time and the exit time of the person in 24 hour format. Then we have to print the time difference between the entry time and exit time in 24 hour format. The question is simple, right? So consider our first test case where the entry time is this and the exit time is this. Now the difference between the entry time and the exit time is 4 hours, 22 minutes and 40 seconds. So this will be our output. Now consider our another test case where the input is the entry time is 9 hours 30 minutes 55 seconds and the exit time is 11 hours 12 minutes and 15 seconds so the difference between the entry time and exit time is 1 hour 41 minutes and 20 seconds now if you see our first test case the difference between the exit time and the entry time is our output that is 55 minus 15 is 40 then 34 minus 12 is 22 and 12 minus 8 is 4 but when you see our second test case it is not in that case 15 minus 55 is not 22 20 right so we should use another method to calculate the difference between the entry time and exit time so let us see what it is Let us implement our program. We will get the inputs, the entry time and the exit time from the user. And then we have to find the difference between the entry time and the exit time. Now, if we directly subtract the exit time and entry time, that is uh, exit time minus entry time, this will give an error because these are strings. So we have to convert these strings to time objects so we use the str p time function and we have to import the date time so that it will become easy for subtraction now we will import the date time from date time import date time we have imported the date time from the date time package so now we'll use the strp time function now it will return the time object in the format of struct time so that our subtraction becomes easy and then it contains two arguments the strp time contains two arguments argument one and argument two argument one is the string time that is the entry time and the exit time and argument two is the format in our question the format is the 24 hour format Now, it is very simple to do the subtraction using this strp time function. Now we will apply this in our program formatted entry time equal to date time dot strp time of our first string is the entry time. So the argument one will be entry time and the argument two is the format. So the format will be modulo h, modulo m and modulo s that is hours, minutes and seconds. So we'll use the same statement for the exit time. Exit time. So now we have to print the formatted exit time minus 
formatted entry time. Now, if we execute this program by giving our test case, the output is correct. That is four hours, 22 minutes and 40 seconds, but we should get like the zero for 22 minutes and 40 seconds. So we have to pad zeros, right? So for that, we will do some modifications. So the result is equal to str of this. So we will convert them to the string format. And the result is equal to the time dot. Here we used the zfill function to pad the zeros for time in result dot split off colon. So now we have pad the zeros in the time using the zfill function. Now we are going to print join of result. Now let us execute our program with our first test case. Our output is correct, but our colon is missing. So here, so if we execute now, we have got the correct output that is four hours, 22 minutes and 40 seconds. Now let us execute our another test case. Here, the output is one hour, 41 minutes and 20 seconds, which is correct. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Oh, 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 oh,